Hello and welcome back to the Kino Learn Home Activity World. In the first video, parents and children together made activity corners. The reading corner, the art corner, the toy corner and the cleaning corner. In video 2, we collected many activities from the kitchen with fruits and vegetables. And today, in video 3, let's take the children to the world of science and go right back to the kitchen and collect a few more activities. Please remember, my focus is to help you to do activities with your children using easily available day-to-day -day things in the house. There is a growing perspective that there is so much digital learning available and children can learn almost everything online. While I do agree that screen learning is growing, but I feel and I very strongly believe that early years a very important time where the hands-on experiences are so, so important. In fact, at any point of time, after the learning from screen, it is the on-the-ground application and the skills that really make this learning meaningful. Stories are a great way to introduce concepts to children and make them curious. Kahaniya बच्चों को कुछ सिखाने की उत्सुकता बढ़ाने के लिए एक बहुत अच्छा टूल है तो चलिए आज बंदर और बर्फ की कहानी सुनते हैं गुन्नू और मुन्नू बंदर बहुत शरारती थे एक ठेले वाला रोज आता था फल लेकर और उनको शरारते करते हुए देखता था कभी वो उसके केले ले जाते कभी सेब चुरा लेते एक दिन ठेले वाले ने सोचा इनको तो सबक सिखलाना पड़ेगा अगले दिन वो अपने ठेले में बाल्टी भरकर बर्फ लेकर आया और उसने बंदरों को बर्फ दिखलाई मुन्नू और गुन्नू बंदर आए और बर्फ लेकर भाग गए सबको बुलाकर बर्फ दिखलाई कहा चलो आओ खेले कोई नई चीजें आई बर्फ कुछ देर में पिघल गई और बंदर गए भीग बंदर ढूंढने लग गए किधर गई वो नई चीज तो क्या आप बता सकते हैं कि वो चीज कहा चली गई बर्फ कहा चली गई सो हुक द आइस अवे फोर मंकीज लिव ऑन अ ट्री देवर एज नॉटी एज नॉटी कैन बी अ फ्रूट सेलर केम दे एवरी डे द मंकीज वुड जंप एंड टेक द फ्रूट्स अवे द फ्रूट सेट अ वंडर वॉट टू डू देन ही गॉट एन आइडिया सो न्यू ही गॉट अ बॉक्स फुल ऑफ आइस He showed them to the monkeys and was really nice. The monkeys came jumping down. They took the ice and played around. The ice slowly melted on the ground and there was only water all around. The monkeys did not know what to do. Where the ice went, no one knew. So can you tell where the ice went? So today, let's explore the world of science, the world of simple curiosity and so easily done in the kitchen. Activity one could be making of a solution. Add sugar to water. They can see it settle down. They then mix it, dissolve it. Squeeze a bit of lemonade of lemon and make a tasty glass of lemonade and also taste the nice sweet solution that they have made. So mixing, dissolving and happily drinking it. Sink and float. You could use a piece of sponge, you can use an old towel and help them to soak in water and actually clean a small surface. Squeeze out the water and again dry the piece of sponge. Water can freeze into ice. You can actually tell them to pour water into different sizes and different shapes of containers and let it freeze and actually explore that how water changes shape and how water becomes ice. Leave it outside and let the ice become water. While having a hot cup of tea, you can actually show them steam and how it collects and condenses to become water. These are simple experiments, but they make the children 
curious. And that's what science is about, to be able to explore and develop a sense of curiosity. Now, senses and sensitizing children to them. Actually, sensitizing ourselves to the feel, the smell, hearing, the taste, and to do it mindfully. So let's start with our feely bag. Uh, this is the Nani Ka Thela that we took and a beautiful bag that says make it family time and so easily. So you can put things in the bag. Ask the children to close their eyes. Never blindfold the children as they may be uncomfortable. And you can play a lovely game where they can put their hand in the little feely bag and feel things and guess what it is. And then take them out and check whether their guess was correct. So our Nani Ka Thela, very, very useful for our little family time with our children. Smell and tell. Again, let them just close their eyes and smell and guess. Listen and tell. You can tell the children to listen to the sounds around them. These days with so much of silence around, you can actually sensitize the children to listening. You can use pulses from your uh, kitchen and, you know, plastic boxes or old boxes to use and make sound boxes where the children can. You can make pairs of boxes which will have the same quantity of the same thing. You can cover it up and ask them to listen to it and match the pairs. The use of earphones is increasing and simple mindfulness to natural sounds must be encouraged. Taste and tell. Have a fun, close your eyes and taste and tell and guess what it is. I spy, a great activity to help children look for minute details around them. I spy a small button under the table, a great time to teach prepositions to the children. Also, I spy a toy under the bed. I think it's not in the right place. So a good time to spy and help them put the things back in the correct places. The last few days at home have actually helped us all to understand that sometimes there may be so little and how children and even adults can be sensitized to simple life and how important is to use different your resources to the optimum. So today, let's end the session with a beautiful jaltarang. It's just glasses of water filled with different levels of water and different sizes of containers. So, music, science, curiosity and I hope you enjoyed the session with me today. Looking forward to your feedback and enjoying the whole activity process with all of you. Thank you for being